is Darius Young, and welcome to Modeling Shadow Part 1. Uh, in this part, we are going to set up the background image and get started on the body. Now, uh, this tutorial isn't going to be a beginner beginner tutorial. And I say that because there is no shadow image that has the front, side, and back view that we can use so that I can step-by-step-by-step uh, by step by step exactly show you exactly how to model shadow. There just isn't a model sheet like that. I can make one myself, but I think I've been putting off the shadow tutorial long enough. So if you want a beginner step-by-step-by-step step by step video on how to model a Sonic character or something like that, go to my Modeling Sonic tutorial, of which I do so. Uh, and the shadow t in this shadow tutorial series is going to be a bit faster paced, um, <clears throat> so I'm warning all newcomers now um, but if you want to follow along with the tutorial it will require a basic understanding of the interface uh, and keyboard shortcuts <clears throat> so uh, with all that said now that I've got that out of the way uh, we're going to get started with loading up our background image um, so let's so well, what we're going to do is, though, we're not going to put it in the actual background. We're going to put it in the UV image editor. So let's open ourselves a new window here. Go to UV image editor. Go to open. Go to pictures. Once you find your image, double click it. And there you go. So we're going to be looking at this image over here while we 3D model. Um, so one thing you might want to do before we get started is join this area real quick. We're just going to get rid of the timeline down here because we're going to be modeling. And so we don't need that in our way. Let's load image. Okay, cool. So now <coughs> let's get started on the 3D model. So hit 5, go in the orthographic view. And... I'm going to take this box, I'm going to hit 1 on the front view, scale this box down, let's move this up, I'm going to do some actual measuring, so let's just move this up to this square here. Shadow's leg should be about two of these squares long, so that'll be good for now. All right. <coughs> so this is the body. We're going to W. We're going to subdivide it. And before we add any mirror modifiers or anything like that, let's just go in because we don't need them right now. Let's get Alt O. <coughs> Scale this down. Move that out just a little bit. Go to vertex and we'll select that middle vertex. Move that out. Alright, uh, I think that's all the editing that I feel like trying to do without adding the mirror modifier. So let's select this entire side here. Hit X vertices. Then go to your modifiers tab over here. Add modifier, mirror modifier. There we go. Clipping and select everything, move this over. Sweet. Just moving that like that. In fact, just to so this way I can help you guys out, let me turn on my screencast keys so I'll be right back because I haven't done that in a minute. <coughs> <coughs> Alrighty, so, uh, so that's good, um, so now for the legs, so let's select these two faces, hit I, intersect, uh, not intersect, inset, which is good right here, um, hit X to delete these faces, and we're going to 
vertex mode, hit W, go to circle. That's what we want. Turn off clipping real quick and just scale that down. There we go. Jeezy, just bring that down a little bit before we bring it all the way down. Move it over to the side. There we go. Now, his legs aren't perfect spheres, so just hit S and Y to scale those out just a little bit. I learned that from making Sonic the first time. Then let's extrude down. Like so. Bring those out like so. We're going to need to bring them out because his feet are going to be uh, annoying if we didn't. Just want to bring some of this up. Turn clipping back on by the by. I'm just gonna shun out this waist area a little bit. Select that, move it up. Select this whole thing, E extrude it. <coughs> now I set my smooth to Q. Um, but you can just hit W and click smooth, but if you wanna add a shortcut, just right click <coughs> go to it'll say add shortcut for you. Then you can press a button to make it your shortcut. I'm just going to use my Q. Smooth that out a little bit. Um, what else am I going to do? Before I call it a day, I'm going to add some two edge loops here. Give this more form. And I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier to see how this is looking. So we have to keep in mind our reference image here, uh, which is why we have it in the first place. Uh, so I kind of want this chest area to be out a little bit more than it is. Uh, sorry about that all, that weird flashing and stuff. Uh, that's just my computer being derpy uh, because my computer is most certainly a derp. And so I do apologize for its derpiness, uh, but the show, as they say, must go on. And I really want it to go on so that I can give you guys the shadow tutorial that I have been promising you. Because I would be a douchebag if I didn't. And no one wants to be a douchebag. There we go. Okay. So that's good. Whew. So that's pretty much it for that part. Now for the arms. This is fairly simple. Just take that. Shift D. Move that out. I right, rotate that. Scale it down. Then hit Control L. S X whoops. S X scale that in just a smidgen. Bring that in a little bit. Move it back. There we go. And to scale this bottom part out because the top is a bit uh, shorter than the bottom. On these Sonic characters, <coughs> top of the leg. Anyway, I should have been specific when I said that. Top of the leg, top of the morning. Whoops, my fault. Thank you. <coughs> Sweet. 
It's coming together nicely. <clears throat> so the lick have some bend. We're going to add a vertice in here. Hit control B to bevel that and add an edge loop in there. And then just for more deformation. There we go. I think these letters are a bit too big. Let me turn down the text size and the mouse too. There we go. Alrighty. So this is looking pretty good so far. Alright, now I'm going to uh, add the tail. Well, I guess we can separate this into parts. So we'll, right now we're just focused on the main body. And we'll get to that other complicated stuff later. Show our edge loop in here. Bevel that. Of course. And then for extra geometry purposes. You also want to scale this on the Y axis. And then control I to invert your selection and hide everything else. Because we want to... Make those faces. And then hit Alt-H to unhide everything. Select that. R to rotate. Like so. Hit Control r to edge loop in there. Reselect that. And G to grab. There you go. There we can control one. Uh, whoops. <laughs> oh, I see what just happened there. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of those. There we go. Uh, so, uh, just for the sake of our mesh looking nice, uh, let's tab to animal, select everything, hit W, shade, smooth. There we go. And for an even cooler look, let's turn on ambient occlusion. And change the distance down to point 0.1 and the strength to like way up there. Well, not way up there, but up there. Uh, change that up right now. Yeah, let's turn the distance up to well, yeah, that's better. All right. So, this will be the end of part one. And because this isn't a beginner tutorial, this is actually going to be moving a lot quicker than all my <laughs> previous tutorials. You see how far we got uh, with me moving a bit quick, faster, because I don't have to think about everything that I'm saying. So, uh, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel for more Blender tutorials. And uh, actually be able to make, maybe able to make part two today. So, uh, yeah. So, see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good day.